But first, let's turn to an event that took place on Armistice Day where the King unveiled two statues of his parents. The late Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip have been immortalised with a pair of particularly poignant statues at the south entrance of the Royal Albert Hall. A young British sculptor, Poppy Field, great name, was chosen to create the works and she told us about the experience. Approaching commission of this magnitude was entirely different to anything I'd done before. Normally I will do a commission portrait or a figure with a model in my studio and in both cases you have many hours with that person and as the hours slip by you get to know them, you get a sense of their character and you can watch their body move or their facial features change as they speak and you can collect these moments and um, if you, you know things are going well you'll create a sense of them, of their presence or essence or spirit. With this commission I didn't have the physical presence of the Queen or Prince Philip and even if I had had access to them, it wouldn't have been for long enough to create two metre monuments. So I had to put my background in the history of art to good use and research what were the most meaningful symbols and how could I technically convey them. They perhaps have one of the greatest marriages and partnerships of our time and that maybe I could sculpt a love story as much as I could sculpt a representation of our Queen and Prince Philip. So I thought quite an exciting and contemporary way to represent them would be in civilian dress. And the highest form of civilian dress is white tie for a gentleman and evening dress for a woman. So I went to Gibbs and Hawks, the uh, Royal Warrant Holding Suit Company, and they lent me white tie and fitted it to my model Jack, who posed for Philip. Similarly, with my model Megan, we went to Cornelia James, the glove makers, and Cornelia had made gloves for the Queen throughout um, her own life. And I thought a fitting way of representing their shared lifetime of service would be to create one composition across the entire South Porch facade. And in thinking of this one composition, it occurred to me that Prince Philip, a man as modern as tomorrow, was also the Queen's strength and stay. And he was known for following a couple of steps behind her and the Queen, who gave us this amazing sense of stability during times of enormous social change, was there for us, the public. And so being able to convey Prince Philip looking over to the Queen meant that viewers in the West, who typically read from left to right, would follow his gaze. They'll follow, follow him looking over to the Queen, who looks out to the public, which would engage the viewer. And because she's turning into the hall, the viewer should then feel encouraged to go into the building too. And that was important because the Royal Albert Hall has been known as the nation's village hall. So it was a love story, but also with the romantic appeal that involves the nation. It was very moving that the sculptures were unveiled by their son, King Charles, and also his wife, Queen Camilla, on Armistice Day. It was a day of remembrance. And I'm really proud that they got to see them and also that they will have opportunities in the future to see them in the daytime and hopefully from a distance. The brilliant Poppy Field there. You can see an extended interview with her on our channel where she reveals more about those works on Monday. So do check back in for that.